please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. Ayabacho Lucas reveals the existence of an alliance between Amazonia and Biafra. Samuel Ikome Sako denies the existence of such an alliance. Samuel Ikome Sako has requested funds from Biafra. The rack is burning between the various Amazonian secessionist leaders on their alliance with the Biafran separatists in Nigeria. The president of the interim government, Dr. Samuel Ikome Sako, declared during a virtual press conference via the Zoom on August 6, 2021 that there has never been an alliance between the people of English-speaking Cameroon and the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipope. This outing took place a few months after another leader, who is also fighting for the independence of the English-speaking regions of Cameroon, Dr. Ayabacho Lucas, entered into a partnership with the Ipope of imprisoned Namdi Kanu. Prior to this agreement, Mr. Kanu was a free man until then. During the conference, Dr. Samuel Sako said that unlike Biafra, which is trying to separate from Nigeria, Anglophone Cameroon is in the process of restoring its independence. He lamented, we have coexisted so long with Cameroon, but if the union has become problematic, does English-speaking Cameroon lose its independence for all that? The answer is no. If it is admitted that our union with Cameroon was not a treaty union as provided for in the United Nations Charter, why are we forced to remain in the de facto union which we have been treated like slaves for more than 60 years? It is the authority that speaks on behalf of the people of English-speaking Cameroon. We did not approve and we will not approve Biafra. That is the position we have taken. We recognize the right to self-determination of the peoples of the whole world in accordance with the laws, even those of Nigeria. According to the interim government, the alliance of the Ague of Sea and Ipope have caused untold suffering to refugees in Nigeria. Dr. Samuel Sako further said, Nigeria must continue to treat our refugees in accordance with international law. They are hungry, many are homeless and hopeless. Please, in the name of God, continue to treat them with love and care. They do not constitute a threat to the territorial integrity or the security of the Nigerian nation, and they never will be. Dr. Ayabacho retaliates, I would like to respond to Mr. Samuel Sako Ikome, who attacked our alliance with the Biafras by using the refugees as an excuse. Those who liberated Rwanda came from refugee camps in Uganda. Refugees played an important role in the liberation struggles and should never be treated as victims and be politicized by desperate politicians posing as leaders of liberation. Our refugees have been politicized. Our prisoners have been politicized. The alliance with Biafra is unstoppable. Unstoppable. Nigeria has shown that it is not our friend, Dr. Ayabacho said in a video. I care about the refugees. I am a refugee living in the camp for three years. The alliance with Biafra is for the survival and self-reserve of Ambazonia. Mr. Samuel Ikome Sako asked for funds from Biafra. But the Biafrans refused and they understood that he was not a serious candidate for a liberation struggle. In 1967, Biafra failed in its war of independence and surrendered to the Nigerian government.